Hello, I'm Kibitech, and this is another mod showcase, so to speak. Uh, I wrote a timer mod that can be used for speed running. Now, this mod, I wrote this mod for two reasons. Uh, one is that I couldn't find a good timer mod that would work under Linux, which, yeah, I'm using Linux, and the only one I found that that would ki keep track of in-game time was a Windows version and I don't want to run wine while speed running it's just it's bad and yeah the other reason is that uh, well this is mainly an uh, was also just an exercise of making a mod for a Minecraft version that has uh, well where Minecraft coder pack is not available so yeah okay so if I jump into a world then you will notice that the timer does not start this is because uh, I made it so you can look around and also load the world first but then if you press any button on the keyboard the timer will instantly start okay now uh, also, if I press escape to pause the game, you can see that real-time um, counter for timer increases still while the in-game timer is frozen. And yeah. So, I should also mention that I made it so if you uh, on the end credits of Minecraft, so when you exit the end and you have the credits rolling, then the timer is paused or the, the display of real time and in game time are paused at that point because most people obviously when they speed run minecraft they uh, try uh, killing the ender dragon and well yeah okay uh, if I exit a world then the timer will still keep going uh, well, it doesn't know the in-game time anymore, So, but if I enter the world again, then it will keep going at that point. Now, this is... Uh, I'm not saving anything to a file here, so essentially if you quit Minecraft entirely, then the timer is reset. If you enter a different world, the timer gets messed up and it dis displays this underscore time essentially uh, okay so I'm try uh, with this mod also I want to say I'm try to make it uh, so I change a l as little about the vanilla game as, as um, possible as, uh, so it has I'm, I'm modding only a single class and it is very lightweight and everything so uh, oh yeah, about the controls. So zero is the control button here for the mod. If I press zero, it stops the timer. And if I press it zero again, then it resets the timer. Uh, well, yeah, to zero. And then if I move again, it or press any button, then it starts again. Uh, now th uh, this zero does not include when you're in chat. It only is when you actually press zero when well well any time except when you're in the chat <laughs> essentially okay so lastly i just wanted to show a quick speed run that i did uh it is more not a serious category category it essentially is a proper any percent including commands and creative mode so it was interesting because uh, you're not really, s uh, or you can't kill the Ender Dragon in less than ten seconds because you can't spawn any portal or actually do any sort of set block command for portals before the Ender Dragon is dead. So yeah, I found a work around that, but yeah. Okay, what I do is I change the world to debug and one of every block type will be present here. So I can just change my game mode to game mode 1. Uh, that allows me to actually go through the end portal and all I have to do is then teleport to the end portal and I end up in the end. 
Now, in the end, the same thing happens. Like one of every block type is present, and the game actually refreshes these blocks every tick, so that the end portal block is actually there in the end before the dragon is killed, and I can just go through it. And voila, I get the end credits. Now, I did use copy paste once in this speedrun. So, <laughs> I did a speedrun without copy paste, uh, and that took 9.85 seconds. Yeah, I'm not a very fast typer, so definitely room for improvement there.